Welcome back to a very hot, hot Friday. <laughs> I'm clean today. I've actually washed my hair today. I just need to style it. But do you ever feel like all you do is clean your house? That is non-stop. I spent the whole of yesterday tidying the house, but I wouldn't have to bother to do it today and that I could have like a nice chilled Friday, have like a couch day or sit in the garden or something. And yet I've still managed to find a hundred things to do today. <laughs> I've been leaving my hair natural a lot more recently to try and get it a bit more healthy. I don't know if it's working, don't feel it. I have really fine hair, I don't know if you remember from many years ago. I used to be, or well, still am, very conscious of my hair and like it's something that really knocks my confidence. So doing all that I can. Yeah, today's plan, I've tidied the house. It's not finished, but batteries have died on hoovers, etc. So, got to wait for those to charge and film the house tour, which is partly why I'm like extra clean in the house. <laughs> I need to take the dog for a walk, but it's so hot today, so I might just play with her in the garden a bit. Although our garden is an absolute state. I'll explain all of that in the house tour, or I will have explained all of that in the house tour. Whichever one goes up first, probably the house tour. I don't know. Decided I'm gonna have a crisp sandwich for lunch. Don't judge me. I feel like, this is weird, I feel like I need to be a bit like, not need to be like, but I want to be like Helen Anderson and get a little microphone so that I can talk to you and do like cool shots while I talk to you randomly, but you can still hear me over like the bread. <laughs> Put you in my cupboard so that I can quickly talk to you. Although the lighting will be awful because the window is right behind me and you're very close up to me right now. Hi. Let's try and move you to a better location. I don't know if that is any better, but you don't feel quite so close to me, so don't feel as... Hi. <laughs> we've been using, what I wanted to say is, we've been using HelloFresh recently. This is obviously not sponsored at all. I know there's a lot of people that do HelloFresh sponsors. This is not one, but I hate cooking. Like, I hate it. I do not enjoy it. It's messy, it takes ages, I'm so impatient, hence why I'm having a crisp sandwich right now because I just cannot be bothered with anything else. And we were getting a lot of takeaways, so since we moved into the house to begin with, we didn't have an oven, so we got into a bit of a bad routine of um, just ordering takeaways and that kind of, it reduced a little bit once the oven went in, but not really. And we were obviously spending a lot of money, like every single month, every single week, a lot of money on takeaways. So we decided to go on HelloFresh. And honestly, it has changed everything when it comes to food for us. So yesterday I made a risotto. It was a bacon and butternut squash risotto. And I used to be terrified of cooking stuff like that because I'd be like, there's no way I'm going to know what I'm doing. It's going to take me ages. It's going to be boring. It's going to taste horrific. It was delicious. It took me 40 minutes, but it was so simple, like step by step, that I really didn't mind doing it. And I really enjoyed it. So if you hate cooking and you're really lazy, but you want to get better at your diet, try HelloFresh. There are so many discount codes out there. I don't have one, but there are so many out there. I'm sure you can find one. Just try it for a week and see how you get on and see if you enjoy it. But it's like we always have leftovers that I can take it for work the next day for lunch. Honestly, it saved us so much money. Highly recommend it. Wanted to tell you that. <laughs> the dog is attacking the cat. I'm having a What's It crisp sandwich today. If you have crisp sandwiches, what's your favourite crisp to have in the sandwich? This is a brilliant angle, but I'm very comfortable. <laughs> I've just realised that I've not had a car now for five weeks. My car broke down. It's such a long story. I had such a rant about it on Instagram. If you follow me on there, then obviously you know the whole thing. But it was meant to be towed to the garage to be looked at. The tow company never towed the car. It never arrived there. It arrived the day after, so I missed my appointment. And it's now taking four weeks. And I've 
they're still apparently waiting for a part to come in. But the thing that's annoying me the most is like the lack of communication. So my car's my car's from the car shop and that's where it is because it's under warranty. So I'm not I don't have to pay for anything. And I feel like that's why they're just taking so freaking long. So like I had to wait an extra week for them to even look at it for the next appointment. Then I didn't hear anything from them till the Monday after. So it was looked at on the Wednesday. Then I didn't hear anything from them on the, till the Monday after. Then the Monday after that. Then the Monday after that. And then Ben called to chase. And they were like, oh yeah, we're waiting for a part. The, also, the other thing that's really irritating me is that they're calling Ben. But the car is in my name and I'm the one that rang to book it in. Like All the booking is under my name, under my number. But for every update they're calling Ben, they're not calling me, and it's really peeing me off. I've got plans next week, and I, I think I'm going to have to cancel them all because I can't get there, and I'm borrowing Ben's brother's car, and I'm so incredibly grateful to him because I would have had to have been getting the bus to work, which is like £11.75 a day, which obviously is absurd. But like, I don't, I'm not taking a piss, I'm not going to drive his car for like my social events, like no way, it's just for work, but starting to really annoy me now i just want my car back like i haven't hadn't even had it a year i got it in the september and it broke down in the june i haven't had it a year and now i've not had it for like over a month and it's mot's due in blooming august they so might as well just freaking keep it into the mot <sighs> it's driving me nuts so that's put me in a really crappy mood so i was going to film the house tour but actually i've decided i'm going to film it on Tuesday because that I think all my plans that I had on Tuesday are gonna have to be cancelled so I'm gonna have, I need something to fill my day so I'm gonna fill my house tour on Tuesday I'm gonna go and make a cup of tea to try and cheer me up I'm comfy there Luna <laughs> yeah hello I see you I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> Let the tension seek out. It doesn't have to always be about you, you know? Hmm? Nice. Little cutie. Look at your little face. From the dog walk and i've been feeling really low today so i've decided that i'm gonna sort my hair out run the straightness through it make a cup of tea i'd quite like some cake but we don't have any cake we might just have some biscuits and put on something cozy on the tv I say cozy, I kind of want to watch, um, has anyone else been watching, is it called Fear Street? And it was like Fear Street 1994, and then it's like going back, I don't know, I can't remember. But I've watched the first two, so I have the third one to watch, so I think I might make a cup of tea and watch that and just wallow for a little bit. But make myself feel a bit better, so let me straighten my hair, which I don't really do anymore really i feel like i'm at a bit of like that time or i'm at not that time but a time of my life when i know i want things to change or like i'm not happy with certain things and but feel like i have <laughs> no idea how to change them does that make sense so it's like, work is my biggest one at the moment. Like the lockdowns really made me realise how unpassionate I am about my career and how much I actually really don't like it. And the only reason I get up and go in the mornings is for the people that I work with, uh, rather than like job satisfaction. Everything that I kind of want to do, or have always wanted to do, involve 
grades that I don't have, qualifications that I don't have, that I can't afford to go and do or have the time to go and do or involve a massive pay cut which I can't afford to do because we've just bought a house and I just feel so trapped and stuck at the moment like if I continue with what I'm doing my mental health is really going to suffer because I've already started to see that happening and then like a slow decline in that and I feel like I'm just gonna get very miserable <laughs> but I don't really see a way out of it at the moment which isn't fun hmm well I said that these vlogs weren't gonna be deep but it would appear that Cara needed a chat clearly <laughs> look at your little face oh 